consider another example for explaining free body diagram. So this is the spatial diagram I have considered. For this, I want to draw free body diagram. So there are two rollers. For these two rollers, I want to draw free body diagram. So let me start with first roller. So when I want to draw free body diagram for first roller, first I should draw that roller separately. So here this is the roller. So I have drawn that separately, removed all the contact surfaces. So I have removed all the contact surfaces. I have drawn separately. So here D is the contact point between one and two rollers. B is the contact point with the inclined surface and C is the contact point with the vertical wall. First thing I need to represent is, so I need to represent weight. So always weight acts vertically downwards. And observe where is the restriction. Here this roller is not able to move in this direction. So because of that you need to represent a reaction in the opposite direction at contact point C. So there will be a reaction in the opposite direction at contact point C. So I am going to represent it with RC. At contact point B, so it is not able to move in this direction. So at contact point B, so you need to represent a reaction in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface. If this is 90, if this is if this is 90, if this is 30 degrees, total 120 degrees, as the sum of angles in a triangle is 180, so then the remaining angle is going to be 60 degrees. That means reaction at B, so will be in this direction, so it is making an inclination of 60 degrees with horizontal. Here if you observe, so because of the existence of roller 2, it is not able to move in this direction. Then you need to represent a reaction at point at point of contact D. So as it is not able to move in this direction, in the opposite direction you need to represent a reaction RD. Here these two are identical rollers, uh, same in diameter. So when I join uh, one and two lines, one and two roller centers, so that will be passing through point D. So this line and the inclined line will be parallel to each other. So as it is making an angle of 30 degrees with horizontal, so this one also will make an angle of 30 degrees with horizontal. This is also 30 degrees. If this is 30 degrees, then this is also going to be 30 degrees. So this is 30 degrees. This is a free body diagram of roller 1. I would like to draw the free body diagram of roller 2. So I have to draw the roller separately. First represent the weight, so weight acts vertically downwards and next observe the restrictions. It is not able to move in this direction, in the opposite direction you have to represent a reaction that to perpendicular to surface. So here this is 9, 30 degrees, this is 90 degrees, with horizontal it will make an inclination of 60 degrees and it is at point of contact A, so there I will represent this one as RA. So with horizontal it is making an inclination of 60 degrees. And because of roller 1 it is not able to move in downward direction. In the opposite direction you need to represent a reaction. So that is at point of contact D you need to represent a reaction in this line. So when you observe the line joining 1 and 2 is parallel to uh, the inclined line. So there will be uh, an inclination of 30 degrees with horizontal. This is the free body diagram of a second roller. Let us consider another example. So here AB is the ladder. So A is the point on the floor. B is the point on the wall. The ladder is resting like this. So you need to draw free body diagram for this ladder. So when I want to draw free body diagram for this ladder, first I need to represent the ladder separately. So this is point A. This is point B. So this is the ladder. AB is the ladder. And weight is acting from the center C. So you need to represent weight of the ladder. So which is acting from center C. So weight acts always vertically downwards. Now you need to observe where is the restriction. So because of uh, uh, the vertical wall, it can slide in this direction or it can be able to move in this direction. But it is not able to move in this direction. It is not able to move in this direction. In the opposite direction, you need to represent a reaction. So RB. So this reaction will be perpendicular to surface. Here if you observe, 
the ladder is not able to move in downward direction so in the opposite direction you need to represent a reaction so this in this direction you need to represent a reaction so this is the free body diagram for the ladder for another example so ab is a ladder so there is a restriction there is a restriction or uh, to prevent the motion along uh, this direction there is a stopper here so i want to draw free body diagram for this ladder in this case first i need to draw the ladder separately so this is uh, point a this is point b here if you observe the ladder can slide in this direction or in this direction but it is not able to move in this direction in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface you need to represent a reaction here if you observe the ladder is not able to move along negative x direction and negative y direction why because there is a, uh, a stopper here there is a stopper here for for preventing motion along negative x direction and there is a floor horizontal surface is there because of that it is not able to move in vertically downward direction so there you need to represent two reactions one along horizontal direction and one along vertical direction so this is the reaction along horizontal direction so it is ra and along horizontal direction i am consuming with the suffix x so ra x and along vertical direction ra by this is the free body diagram for the considered ladder in this case i need to draw a free body diagram for the object so here i need to observe a point where all the forces are meeting so here along ab there will be a tensile force along bc there will be a tensile force so downwards so there is a electric fixture weight right so i need to consider a point where all the forces are meeting there so that is point b so i need to draw equilibrium of a point b so at point b i need to consider the force system there so this is point b so weight 170 newtons electric light fixture weight 170 newtons acting vertically downwards and along the string ab there will be tensile force i am considering that one as t1 and along bc there will be tensile force i am considering that one as t2 so here i want to find inclination of uh, this string with horizontal so if i extend this one this is making a right angle this is 45 this is 90 so then this is going to be 45 degrees so this will be 45 degrees if this is 60 then this is going to be 60 degrees this is 60 degrees thanks for watching if you like this video click on like button for more videos do subscribe to my channel the turning point thank you all